In this video, we're going to access profile information using the Google Management API. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is go to our console.developers.google.com to get into our Google Developer Console. Now we're going to choose to create a new project. Click on the Continue button, and we get a little notification down here that it's creating a new project. And just a moment, that project's going to be created and we'll be able to move forward. And there we go. So the new project's created. The API is enabled. Now we can go to credentials. We're going to add credentials and we're going to choose a service account. Let's use a P12 for backwards compatibility with code using the P12 format. And we're going to click on create and it's going to create our service account. The new public private key is created and we can save it onto our desktop. Click on close and now we have our credentials. Now if we click on our APIs in the left hand pane and we scroll down under our advertising APIs if we scroll down we can find our analytics API. So let's click on our Analytics API, and it's on Overview right now. So let's click Explore this API. Now if we scroll down, we can see a bit more under the hood. And let's scroll down and find Analytics Management Account List. This lists all accounts to which the user has access. So let's click on that. Let's choose max results of 5, and we'll start the index at 1. We'll leave fields blank. Authorize and execute, and now it's going to tell us a bit about the scope. Click Authorize and Execute once again, and the Analytics Management Accounts list is doing its thing, and we can see the request, and then our response and we can see our analytics account. It's got my email address there. And it's got all the accounts that we're authorized to have access to. All right, so that's how you can access your profile information using the Google Management API.